Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vayner Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. And we have a very awesome show. I don't like using awesome, but I'm gonna use it on this show because we are talking about two great varietals that go hand in hand. I mean, just absolutely, positively, one of the great combos in the world, really relegated to Australia for a very long time, but I'm excited that we're doing a show today with no Australian Sauvignon Blanc Semillon blends. No, we're doing one from South Africa, one from Washington State, and one from California. Semillon Sauvignon Blanc wines are very interesting. You get a lot of the uh, aromatics from the Semillon, Uh, you get a lot of really interesting oiliness aspects from the Semillon, and the Sauvignon Blanc gives the crispness, the cleanness, Together, they're just a dominant force. There's a lot of people who feel that apart, they're both nice wines, but when they come together, they make an amazing combo. And so we've got three wines here today. One at the low end, seven bones. I'm looking at this, I'm like, wow. Um, And then two that roll in at 19 US dollars. You may notice, Michelle, zoom in. I am wearing the new Vayner Nation wristband, and I will be telling you very shortly how you can get one. It's going to be very, very cool. All right, let's uh, zoom in and start off right off the bat with the Steenberg uh, 2007 uh, Sauvignon Blanc. They refer to this as Sauvignon Blanc, but the other two they don't. But this does have 8% Semillon in it. Um, And let's see what it's got. Only seven US dollars, very, very fair price. And as we're still in the fall season, um, you know, these white wines are crisp. They go great with so many different, you know, styles of food. Definitely if you're into the seafood uh, world, shellfish, these are some of the best wine combos you can get. Let's give this wine a sniffy sniff. Outrageously grassy, almost New Zealand-like. If I was in a blind tasting, I would definitely go New Zealand uh, right now, so I would be tricked. Let's give it a little bit more sniff. Heavy, heavy on the uh, green peppers. I get English peas, which I love so much. The inside of an English pea, um, when you when you eat the peas, just the shell of it, um, getting quite a bit of that. Definitely grassiness, a spicy like lemon kind of action. What is a spicy lemon? Um, just really interesting. Aromatically very good. Already worth the price of admission. At seven US dollars, I can smell this wine all night and not be disappointed. Let's give it a whirl. Good, really good acidity, not too high in alcohol. 12.5, I think they hit that out of the park. This is good, guys. This is real good. This is very, um, like lemon juice on top of grass, little grapefruit, um, little bell pepper. This is really good. I mean, this reminds me of a lot of 12 to $15 New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs. Rivals a lot of the uh, Touraine, Loire Valley, Sauvignon Blanc type wines I've had in the past. Not really getting a lot of the Semillon action. It is a low percentage, but a very solid, under $10 wine. So much so, I'm gonna score this wine 88 plus, and I'm gonna highly recommend a lot of people go out and try it. I think this would be a huge home run with a lot of people. It's herbaceous on the back end. I'm still tasting the finish. This really is one of the more exciting South African wines we've had on the show, and it's seven bucks. I like it, I like it a lot. Let's move on, it's a good start to this show. Cataretta, Sauvignon Blanc Semillon from Columbia Valley, 2007 vintage. This wine is 73% Sauvignon Blanc, 27% Semillon, it's 19 US dollars, and it's 90 points J. Miller. Let's give it a rinse. It's also in a very hefty, sturdy bottle, so I'm impressed with the packaging. Um, Nice package. Give it a snippy sniff. 19 bones. Very tropical in its approach. Uh, right off the back, up, powered with a bunch of mangoes up my nose. Mangoes and pears, and a little bit of like a, a lemon now and later. Do you remember the now and later candies? I get a little bit of that coming through on the nose. That's a nice little throwback memory. Very tropical, very tropical in its approach. Um, Also coming through with a little bit of like a graham cracker component, 
So like a tropical spread, if you can turn into a paste over a graham cracker, that's what I get going. A um, little bit of honey. I'm getting a nice sense of honey on the back end of the nose as well. Very good nose again. That's what the Sauvignon, uh, Sauvignon Blancs do quite well. Uh, the bouquets, the aromatics are always extremely strong. Let's give it a whirl. You get much more of the perfume component um, and the oiliness, almost like sweet olive oil, as I used to call it, that you get from Semillon. Much more in this wine. The Semillon is much more obvious and prominent in this wine than the last wine. Let me give it one more shot. A lot of pineapple juice, a little dole action in the beginning, which I like quite a bit, but a heavy acidic backbone, well structured, good wine, a little hot for me, 14.1, scaling a little bit, just a hair, would adore this with some Dover sole just and some fried vegetables. This is your wine. A very nice wine. I think Jay Miller went a little high. I'm gonna go 89 points. Nitpicking over a point, it means nothing. Who cares? However, this is a wine that not as much as the last wine, though a better wine than the last wine, not a wine I'm gonna go tell you to go out and get or, you know, oh my God, but definitely showing the potential of these white blends in Columbia Valley. I like this wine. I could see some people really liking this wine. Um, the pineapple juice is, is heavy. It is definitely a pineapple fan driven wine um, and definitely a wine that I can see lasting two or three years and uh, a wine that I think has a lot of flexibility. Um, actually, you know what would be an interesting dish with this? Uh, prosciutto and melon, believe it or not. I think it could be a very nice pairing with this wine. Let me give it one more shot just for kicks and giggles. Good one. Very tropical. And finally, the Volker Ezel um, Gemini 2006. 93 points, wine enthusiast, 19 US dollars, 71% Semillon, and 29% Sauvignon Blanc. So by far the uh, most Semillon driven uh, wine of the bunch that we're doing today. Let's see what's going on. Little snippy sniff, because that's what we do. Smells like a tire on fire. You like that, it rhymed. It legitimately smells like a tire on fire. <laughs> wow, very smoky, very rubbery, very junkyard dog up in here. Very junkyardy, if that makes any sense. Very oil, rusted old car, motor shop kind of thing going on. Wow, has a, a big burnt rubber component um, coming through on this nose. Really dominates the shallow, light flavors of fig that I catch on the tail end and a little hint of peach fuzz. Let's give it a whirl. I really disagree with the wine enthusiast. Totally. Um, I've drank a lot of 100% Semillon. Um, I'm a fan of it. But I totally disagree. It's an organic wine, by the way, just should mention. I am not feeling this to anywhere close to the level that the uh, wine enthusiast has scored it. 93 for them, 80 two for me, I'm very down in this. It really came across to me as a 10, $11 cheap white wine. Heck, if you poured this to me out of a big bottle and said it's eight bucks for a big bottle, I'd believe you. I find it very hollow, very light, very disappointing. I give it a major pass. I don't know what food you'd eat with this, but I promise you'd probably just be eating the food and not drinking much of the wine. I can't see a lot of palates wrapping their heads around this flavor profile. Let me just give it one more shot. I mean, it is hollow. I mean, it, it almost tastes like water. 
with like a little bit of like an old lemon and an old lime in there. Down. I'm actually going to score it at 79 just because. Wow. Question of the day. Have you, wow, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> this is pretty sad affairs when you go to a $7 wine to rinse your mouth of a $20 wine. But remember, everybody has their own palate. There are a lot of people who love this and probably hate the grassy bell pepper intensity of this wine. I can see a lot of people being down on this. It just hits my palate perfectly. Question of the day, have you ever had a Semillon Sauvignon Blanc blend? If you've ever had a white Bordeaux, you probably have. You, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world, whether they like it or not.